Hey, I'm Roland with Mobile Geeks and we're right here in Berlin, Germany and what we've got right here is the new Nokia Lumia 625 which is actually the bigger brother of the 620 so it's a budget smartphone and yeah, I'm gonna show you that phone right now so this is the 620 as you can tell it's the other cheap one from Nokia or the mid-range, low-end a bit above the 521 and 520 and its bigger brother is now coming out with an LTE integrated modem which the 620 doesn't have so there's a small size comparison right here and as you can see there quite it's quite a big difference if you hold them like this you can see that the 4.7 inch screen compared to the 3.7 inch screen on the 620 is way bigger on a 625 they are using pretty much the same cover molding technology so they have a whiter white inner layer and they're covering that with yellow and white and black and green and orange is a new color in the range in Germany they're starting out with the orange version which I have not available right now but that's gonna be out pretty soon oh I just got told I have an orange version right here so there you go and as you can see the white makes it really shiny and bright the camera can't even capture how bright this thing actually is um, they're gonna start marketing it using the orange version very heavily soon and yeah let's take a quick look around You've got the typical Windows buttons down here that's a 4.7 inch screen it's only a, an 800 by 40, 480 resolution so there's a couple of moments where you're gonna notice that the resolution is not really good. If you look really closely, you can see the pixels pretty good. But if you keep it at a typical distance where you would use your smartphone, like pretty much 50 centimeters from your head or something, um, you can't really tell the, the pixels apart anymore. So that probably works out all right. It's an LCD screen, so um, it's not as bright as on the, for example, the 925, which I have right here. Let's go to the home screen here. Um, so there's a couple of differences in the screen brightness but it's actually a pretty good screen the only difference there is concerning the screen otherwise is that basically they're not going to be able to do the glance screen stuff where you can see the clock and a couple of other notifications in the lower in the, in the corners of the on the AMOLED screen of the 925. So that's not gonna happen on the LCD of the uh, 625 because it's just gonna be drawing too much power. Um, the brightness is pretty much all right. The colors are a bit washed out, but actually it's pretty well done. Um, the phone is close to, or just around nine millimeters thick. If you compare this to the 925, you'll see that, that it's basically the same thickness. It's pretty hard to tell on this gray version of mine right here, but they're basically the, the same thickness. Um, the camera buttons, the buttons are pretty much in the same positions, except for that the camera, uh, the, the volume rockers on the 625 are a bit smaller, but otherwise they're very well placed to be reached with your thumb. Um, there's a separate camera button down here, just as usual. We have a micro USB port down here. And on the left there's pretty much nothing. And on the top there's only the headphone jack. On the back there's a 5 megapixel camera and an LED flash. The camera is capable of doing 1080p videos and down here we have a small speaker out. Um, the cover is actually removable. I'm just going to try and do that right now. For me it's always kind of hard because I'm worried about breaking the devices. Um, they can see this white inner layer that's covered with the yellow or the other colors. Um, when you remove the cover you get access to the SIM card slot and the micro SD card slot. If you put in an SD card it's actually going to be able to um, expand your onboard storage up to 64 gigs. They start out with 8 gigs of onboard memory and you can expand that through the micro SD card slot. As you can see that the, the battery is actually fixed so you can't remove that. They're only uh, those screws are here for the service of Nokia to actually be able to remove it when you're servicing the device But as a user you're not supposed to remove the battery uh, They're telling me that it would be making the device a bit thicker. So they actually decided to stay uh, Keep it fixed in there
Um, this is still a prototype, as you can see. There's no model number on here, except for their internal model number, model number and it's still a prototype. Uh, the device is going to be out pretty soon in Germany and a couple of other countries in the world. They're starting out at a very low price for an LTE device, which this is actually an LTE-capable device. It's quad-band quad -band GSM in there and HSPA Plus up to 42 megabits. Uh, the price is very low at 300 euros, so that's pretty cheap for a device of this size and with LTE integrated. The only downside to the hardware, which is actually pretty decent because it has a two uh, dual core 1.2 gigahertz Qualcomm Snapdragon S4, which is not a Snapdragon 400. They were very clear about that. Um, is that it's only ha it only has four 512 megabytes of RAM. So they're saying that it, that's totally enough actually, because Windows 8, Phone 8 is very um, low on the hardware requirements actually. Um, but there probably there's probably a couple users who are not really happy about that. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. The battery is actually a 2,000 milliampere hour battery, so that should be all right for most people. Um, well, this is the new Nokia Lumia 625 in a quick comparison to the 620 right here. I was Roland from Mobile Geeks. See you later.